happy Sunday, everybody. Guys, thank you all so much beyond words for your comments and your console condolences regarding Gus. Um, I, I could not have asked for any better and further support. You guys are just absolutely amazing. We are working to respond to your comments and um, just thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your encouragement. And thank you for your support. So it is Sunday. It is a beautiful day, but it is a hot day. My car told me it was 90 degrees. 90 degrees. <laughs> uh, first up, here's what I want to do. I want to recap a little of the last week and a half or so. Um, I'll be honest. I just could not get a video out before I was able to put up Gus's video. Uh, honestly, I was sad. I was so sad and no one wants to watch me be sad all day. So, um, but we are okay. We are moving forward and that's what we got to do. So, um, we're getting back to kind of a normal routine of things and uh, I did film a little in the past week and a half. Um, but not enough to count for anything, I guess you could say. But I do want to just kind of show you some highlights. So check those out. Sweet, sweet girls. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Ooh. Thank you, Lord. I'm sitting now. On top of a no. smoky, all covered with. Parmesan cheese. I, I lost know. my poor meat ball <laughs> when somebody <laughs> sneezed. I chew. It rolled off the table and onto the floor. And then my poor meat. <laughs> Roll where? Right out the door. <laughs> Good bye.
way headed into the grocery store and today I'm actually going to Walmart um, not sure why exactly just where I wanted to go so we're going to Walmart today pulling in here right now and this is just going to be a good grocery haul I am working really hard this week to eat at home and to not eat out breakfast lunch dinner okay so that's the goal for the week I'm working really hard toward that so I made my list I've got dinners planned um, <clears throat> you know there, there will be a few little exceptions when we already have things planned that we'll be out and about um, but buying good groceries eating good food is the goal for the week now we're not trying to be super duper healthy with that okay we're still you know feeding a toddler so it's not like we're eating asparagus for every meal but um, main goal not going out to eat that's the main goal all right and then from there we're going to try to build on those habits of kind of improving what we're eating um, so first step eating at home uh, let's go to this grocery haul and I'll share with you guys what we're looking at for the week And done wasn't that a thing was that something they said no that's target target run and done not walmart <laughs> target run and done except i didn't go to target i went to walmart so walmart run and done <laughs> um so i spent i'm gonna say i was in my budget i did not want to spend more than 200 dollars today so my total was 178 dollars and a little bit change I did buy some things I didn't intend on buying and reverse that also. I ended up switching a few menu items kind of on the go. Example being, I did not intend to buy a wall, a Walmart. <laughs> I did intend to buy a Walmart. I did not intend to buy a watermelon, uh, but they had their seedless watermelons on sale for like about $5, four sixty something, I think. Um, and so grabbed a seedless watermelon. They looked great. Addie loves watermelon. So do I. Who doesn't, right? Do you put salt on your watermelon or do you not? That's the the age-old question. I do not put salt on my watermelon. I eat it just as it is. Um, and then I had planned on buying some fish for dinner one night, but I found some chicken that was like already breaded and all. Uh, it was like Parmesan kind of crusted chicken and we love that. And um, so I decided to flip that menu and go with that. My camera fell. And go with that chicken instead of fish. So um, the other thing that I did, and I don't know if it was a money saver or not, okay? So I was going to make sliders for lunch one day, like the ham and cheese kind of Hawaiian roll sliders. And um, so I would have had to buy, like I would have had to have bought ham, cheese, Hawaiian rolls, Dijon mustard, poppy seeds, like some of that stuff I didn't have, right? Um, I was going to have to buy butter just already. Uh, but, so they had like a little pre-made kit of little sandwich sliders and it was $14. And I just kind of like did the quick math and it probably was a little bit more expensive than if I would have bought all the ingredients, but it is going to save me a good bit of time on lunch that day. So I felt it worth the few extra dollars maybe that I would have paid. Um, so, and, and they come with like a nice yummy buttery, uh, like brown sugary buttery kind of topping, which sounded yum. So we're trying that instead, um, but just a few things. Uh, so I'm headed home, about to turn in the driveway. We're going to unload these groceries and we will show you guys what all we found. All right, grocery haul, all sorts of goodies. Remember, $178 for everything. This is, these are the ham and cheese sliders I mentioned. And let's see that yummy watermelon. Got a pineapple, bananas, oranges, apples, cucumber, tomato, all of that. Three pounds of ground beef, pork chops, hot dogs, ham. Those are, let's see, this is the chicken that I mentioned. 
breaded and seasoned with Dijon and Parmesan. We're gonna have some ramen bowls this week and then lots of good snacks for the adults and the baby. So I don't feel like this was actually too terrible of a price for everything that we got today. What do you want? You want blueberries? Okay. <laughs> all right, so Sunday night, finally got all the groceries put away, got the house cleaned up a little bit. Jonathan was working until eight o'clock tonight, so he just got off. So normally when he does that, we like to do Sunday night date night because we have not seen each other all day long. So we normally pick up some food, uh, like cheese dip and chips, something like that. We'll hang out, eat food, watch a movie. Just relax before we kick off another week. So today we actually picked up some food from a restaurant in town called Petro's. And uh, keep in mind, tomorrow starts the uh, no eating out for the week. All right, today was Sunday date night. So Sunday date night, we get food out. Um, so let's see, I got a little baby pizza and some potato skins. Jonathan wanted a club sandwich and some fries. Looks pretty good, check it out. A wrap on Sunday. We are settled in the living room, getting ready to watch a movie, hopefully. <clears throat> we love good movies. Love a good movie. But we are um, lacking <laughs> in our movie list. So if you have any great movie recommendations, drop them in the comments below. We would love to have some new ideas on some things to watch. <clears throat> Thank you guys again so much just absolutely from the bottom of our hearts for the comments that you have left regarding Gus. And uh, thank you so much for praying for our family and just being an encouragement to us. Um, we have a fun recipe coming tomorrow evening. Okay, so I've kind of gotten on a little kick um, with a trending food item. And I'm gonna leave it a surprise for now. But I think you guys will enjoy the video. So we'll be looking for that to come out tomorrow evening. And I hope you all had a beautiful weekend. And we will see you all tomorrow.